All right, we got some trees out of the woods today and I wanted to show my little setup here. This winch we bought for the machining equipment to actually hook onto a trailer to pull the machines up onto the trailer, but I thought I'd get some good use out of it and use it to pull some logs out of the woods. So I went and bought all this stuff off of Amazon. This is actually the cheapest 10,000 pound winch that I could find. So far it's held up pretty good. After pulling some logs out today, I will say that sucker is so hot I can't even put my hand on it. And that's the motor, but I pulled some pretty healthy logs out as you can see. So, but anyways, I bought this uh, three point hitch implement for the back of the tractor. And I tried to get the most durable one I could find without spending a whole ton of money. It actually performed very well. As you can see here though, it did bend. So this did look like the chinchiest part of this implement. And I kind of figured that that could happen with the size logs that I was pulling out. So I'm gonna bend that back and weld a piece of bar across that and that won't ever happen again. But otherwise, this is actually pretty stout. So as you can see here, I've got a quick disconnect for this winch that I went ahead and wired up on this. This was off of Amazon as well. I can put a link in the description. The winch, there'll be a link in the description. This three-point hinge, there'll be a link in the description. All this was off of Amazon. Even the, even the cables here, the battery cables. So anyways, I took this in and I actually went down through here and hooked it directly up to the battery. You're a on, genius. On this John Deere, this battery's on the side and it's actually pretty easy to get to. So I'll show you how I hooked that up here, which the, I got these, uh, these lugs off of Amazon as well. We can post the link in the description. So you can see here where I just literally put it on the side of this uh, cable. Uh, same here, so no big deal. They're on there pretty good. I got these, these rubbers came already on the tractor battery, so I just put a slice in them and put them in there. So I like where the battery compartment is on these. Super easy to get to. Of course, if you're running over a bunch of trees, it will drag trees every once in a while. So anyways, this is all, this is, all it is. Now, there's a wireless remote to this winch, which I have not used yet. And there's also a wired remote, which is what I have here on the tractor. And it also sends you another actual switch to run this. And you can actually wire it up to a tractor, vehicle, whatever. But as you can see, I got it working here. Also, one last thing, in order to be able to put this into a winch, I did have to buy an adapter plate, which I also got off Amazon. and. That's my setup. Worked pretty well. You're an absolute genius. This is a way better setup than using a boom pole. A boom pole will lift the front of your tractor up. It can be very dangerous. So this is low, as you can see here. So it's, it's giving you a lot of force to be able to winch logs out of the woods. I'm actually not quite sure how this happened, but I'll bend that back out and I'll weld a piece of bar in the back and that won't happen again. Good job, babe. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go that way. 